LG, one of the first things I heard in fall camp was that you are lighter and quicker. How much do you really feel that compared to last year? Oh, last year, um, I was in, so being injured, like one game, one game on, one game off. I just I sat around, just went to rehab, and I gained a little weight. So I think off season I dropped a little little bit. I do, I do feel a lot faster. How much weight did you shed? A good a good seven eight pounds. Cool. Yeah. How, what kind of difference does that make? You think? Um, I think it just makes me quicker. Uh, it makes me more vulnerable. But I, I, don't, I don't know. If, yeah, I, I think it makes me better as far as getting around the edge and beating guys at speed. As a physical specimen, I, I can tell you right now, you, you don't look vulnerable, and your teammates are describing you as a bruiser. Would you rather be a bruiser, or do you, do you like the, the quick aspect of being a running back? I like a little bit of, a little bit of both, but whatever, my, whatever they want me to do, I'll, I'll do it. But I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, I can do both. I like both. With the loss of Jamal Williams, everyone's looked to you as kind of, okay, there's the next guy in line. Uh, when you first heard that news, what kind of impact did that have on you personally knowing, okay, I have a bigger role? Um, at first, I was, I was a little just like, wow, that's a, that's a, lot, of, that's a lot of responsibility. But um, Coach, Coach Otsuai, is, he's been doing a good job of just getting me mentally ready, mentally, and just like keeping me in line as far as uh, – like knowing what to do in certain uh, plays and just watching film, um, dissecting plays, um, more detailed stuff. So. Do you? F oh. I was gonna say, do you feel more pressure uh, with this, or have you? Is it a pressure on the group to perform? Yeah, at first I, I kind of felt a little bit pressured, but um, super selfish. But I think I think now it's it's kind of moved to more of the group. What are those conversations like now in the running backs room? behind closed doors in terms of what the expectations are and, and how you feel like you can rise up and meet the challenge? Um, yeah, Mark, Mark, he's, Coach Chatsuai, he's just like, he's, he's gotten super hard on us. He's been more, uh, more deliberate with things, um, not as much joking around, but there, there can be sometimes. But he's, he's doing a good job. When you look at fall camp so far, um, kind of describe what you guys you think you have done as an offense and as running backs as you get ready for Nebraska. Um, I think all, all the running backs all together, we've, we've, um, we've had a lot of young guys step up. Um, they've kind of taken the bigger role as being the bigger back and so putting me in the back. And then I think we all just kind of come together really well in, the, in, the, in our room. And so we, all, all our guys are just, I think we're ready. I know last year that nicknames were kind of a big part of the running back group. <laughs> now, you said that they're, they're, things are more serious with Coach Atuaya, but our are the nicknames still there for everyone in the running back room? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, at Nate, we call him Shaky. You'll have to ask him about that one. <laughs> about Penguin. Penguin, yeah. Coach, Coach, uh, Coach Holiday still uses that one. Do um, you like that one? I, I, he doesn't respond to it as much as Shaky. Shaky. <laughs> I like Shaky. shaky. How, about, how about you and Adam? Um, I, I don't know. They haven't given me one yet. Come on. Um, Adam, it's different. He's always the Haitian sensation, yeah. or uh, Machine. But I like oh, the Machine! I like Machine. I've forgotten about. So, Machine. do you ne you need a nickname then? If you want, if you're willing to give me one, I, yeah. Okay. We might we might have a Twitter question on BYU Sports Nation about that. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might need to come up with that. When last year, Paul was the bruiser. He would carry the ball, but he w he was blocking a lot. Um, you mentioned that you're not in that role as much. Who are, uh, who are the guys in that role this year for BYU? So for sure we have Ai Ho Ching and then uh, Francis Bernard. He's, he's doing a good job of uh, coming in as a freshman and just picking things up really fast. So he's doing a good job. Where have you improved the most as a running back from day one when you came to BYU to where you are now, 12 days away from Nebraska? Hmm, I think just being a more uh, a smarter player, just um, watching film, knowing what to do in, with certain defenses, and I think that's the biggest thing for me that I picked up. When you're uh, in a situation this year where your role is a little different than last year, do you s still expect to get the ball out of the backfield as a receiver uh, to the same degree you did last year? I know Cal, uh, there was a big play in that situation. Um, yeah, we've been we've been practicing a lot of uh, um, running back routes, um, and we, we've always had the same routes, and so. It's kind of become more easy for us, the running backs, to kind of get the hang of things. 
And please tell me, the, is the rugby play still in the playbook? No, or is it no. gone? That, that, that was a strictly Paul thing. That was a Paul it's thing. It's thrown Thank out. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Algy Brown Thank is you. confirming that the rugby I, play. I can't, I can't pitch the ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's been thrown out. <laughs> to save my life. When you are getting ready for a play, um, and let's say it's the read option with, with Taysom Hill, what's that dynamic like? How, how do you know when you're supposed to take the ball? A lot of it is him. He he he'll he'll he, he can kind of feel it. He'll kind of let go of it, or he'll just pull it right away. But I I don't know. Is that it's tough kinda, to get like kinda, timing down? You kind of just have to guess sometimes. Like, okay, am I going to get it? Am I not? If I don't get it, I have to go pick up some other guy to block. And so yeah, it's, it's all on him. It's all on him. You'll yeah. So if there's a fumble, it's his fault. Yeah, <laughs> we, we put, we'll, put on, we'll put it on him. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It, it'll it'll probably it's. It's probably something wrong with the mesh and stuff. But, yeah. So going into Nebraska, this tough September schedule, um, what, kind of, what kind of attitude uh, is there in the locker room right now as you guys prepare for a tough September? Everyone, everyone's hungry. Everyone's ready to go. Everyone's excited. Algie, thanks for the time, man. Thank you. Thanks.